are the best possible under 100k players in FIFA 23's Ultimate Team. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA, Merry Christmas and if you want to see the video for players under 10k, click the i button, it's also there for every single budget. So if you love the vid, hit that like button in the face, let's go! And if you want to buy these players but you're out of coins, go to the biggest most popular website in the world, u7buy.com, the place for your FUT23 coins and with the code VIVA, you will get millions of coins for a couple of bucks. Starting off the episode with the goalkeepers and I'm trying to put a goalkeeper for every single big league on every single page. So I'm hinting for a Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, League E and Serie A goalkeeper if that is possible. If it's not possible, well sometimes heroes or icon cards will replace them. For example, starting off in the La Liga, you have a legion of great goalkeepers. Ter Stegen, Oblak, find goalkeepers, but the best one out of them is Thibaut Courtois. Why is that Viva? Because he is the biggest out of all of them. So his reach for saving long shots, reflexes, it's the best. Luckily, finally, a new card in the Premier League with Jackie Butland. He was a legendary goalkeeper in FIFA 18 or 19, I believe, because he could save with his feet. A threat no other goalkeeper had back then. And now the Crystal Palace goalkeeper is, well, probably the best out there. He's succeeding Alisson, Ederson, and he is in my Premier League side. So he is now a new goalkeeper in the EPL and instantly the best one out there. If you go to the League E, you find Gianluigi Donnarumma. His price, as I'm recording this video, is around 80 to 90k. That is not big if you're just playing FIFA from the start on. I think you will have around a million of coins. I'm playing FIFA, I didn't invest any money and if I sell my team now, I guess 1 million coins will probably be what I have. So a 100k position player is pretty good for a lot of you guys watching this. Um, hero cards, nope. Icon cards, yes. Casillas and Peter Cech. If you think, yes, I want to go for an icon, these players are available for near 100k and with that price tag and their stats, the best one out. From the goalkeepers, we go to the center backs and there we have Araujo. He had a World Cup card that has so much potential, but unluckily, Uruguay didn't proceed to the knockout stages, so his 86 rated card is still underneath the 100k. If this man would have gone to the quarterfinals, for example, he would have been unpayable for a lot of you guys. And um, if you want an icon, it's there, Vidic. It's not his quickest option, but well, 88 rated Vidic with a shadow card is still extraordinarily good. Then, in the Premier League, you have to choose Ben White. It's simple as that. He's the best one under 100k. I recently added him to my team because I played with Koulibaly and Virgil van Dijk for quite some time, but yes, I'm welcoming Ben White in my squad. Kim Min Jao is the man in the Serie A, the Napoli center back of South Korea. Also had the opportunity to go even higher, but one upgrade was enough because they got knocked out by Brazil in the round of last 16. But a flawless card whatsoever. And the Bundesliga also a new winter wild card card with Lucas Kloistermann. With it instantly promoting himself to one of the best center backs in the game because look at that, 87 speed. In combination with those defending stats, it says the whole story. We go to the right backs and then the left backs. First of all, if you want to go in the La Liga team, you can go for, you can see it, Montiel. In the Serie A, Denzel Dumfries is the man to score if you're looking for a decent right back. La Liga upgrade in comparison with Montiel can be Dani Carvajal from Real Madrid. In the Premier League, also luckily, a new right back. I'm still using Kyle Walker and road to the European knockout stage uh, 1B Saka. So, well, Djokovic Dalov is slightly better, but I don't feel the urge to put him in my team so far. But if I have to choose, yes, he is the best option on that right back position. And Dani Alves, probably my favorite card. He's a little bit harder to link. If you're building a Brazilian side, it's quite easily. But so far, he's my favorite, but hard to put him in any squad build. On the left back position, you have so many several options to put in your team for less than 100k is unbelievable. In the Bundesliga, the best option is Rafael Guerrero. His World Cup card for the, um, I believe, team of the tournament, isn't it? Well, it's decent. It's just decent. It's not super good in comparison with the other leagues, but it's decent. Hernandez is the man to go for in the Serie A, where Nuno Mendes is the best left back option. Yep, you guessed it, in the league. Uh, so for the Premier League, I can't actually recommend a super, super left back. I'm using Jao Cancelo myself. So yeah, Jao Cancelo could be on this list. 
He deserves it, but also the icons Emmanuel Petit and Joe Cole should get a recommendation. So for me, Jao Cancelo in the Premier League might be the best out of all of them. I was lucky enough to get him in a red player pick back in the day when FIFA was just in week two, I believe. But trust me, the Jao Cancelo card is amazing. Petit and Joe Cole are also decent looking icons. We're leaving the defensive line behind us and we're turning to the center mids. CDMs, center mids and camps. We separate those positions. On the CDMs part, I like Chuamini. I invested 10 times in Chuamini at the start of FIFA. He was then 35k. Now he's trading for 100k because I knew a player of Real who's going to the World Cup will be rewarded at least two, three times with an upgrade. Now his 86 rated one to watch card is 100k. I think the upgrades will not be coming that quickly. So now the growth is actually a little bit gone with this card. So buy him if you like, but he won't go up too much. Maybe to 87, 88 maximum. Guendouzi is a super, super player in the league. Uh, he might be under, well, underpriced actually because imagine this man in the Premier League for example he would have been over 250k but now because he's playing in the League E according to some people not that popular than the EPL for example he's that cheap to take he's a good gullet gang member boys Sergio Busquets the best La Liga CDM on the spot because well his card finally had some speed Mikael Essien 87 rated you can get a player like that quite easily his 85 rated card is more expensive by the way and Javier Mascherano, the hero of Argentina, is the best CDM to take for around 100k. On to the center midfielders. If you're looking for a Serie A center mid, Jorginho Wijnaldum. He didn't went to the World Cup because he was injured, but look at that with a fine looking card. And you can combine it with Milinkovic Savic of Lazio Roma. Also a nice combo. AS Roma, Lazio Roma on that midfield. Now we have Mikael Balak. If you want an icon for less than 100k, Balak is the man to steal away. Rabio is just insane. Look at those stats. If you want to build yourself a French team, go with Guendouzi and Rabio. You will be fine on the CDM and Central Mid spot. They will do a great job for you. And Casimiro, Winter Wild Card card is there. A 76 speed. Casimiro, well, he will do a fine job for you. His price might be a little bit higher than you expect, but trust me, he will kill every single attack your opponent is throwing at your face. The most creative players on the midfield are the camp positions. You're looking for decent speed with great dribbling and nice shooting and passing as well. Kai Havertz is a speed abuse monster. I'm using him in my 4-2-2-2 system on the right camp position and he's hurting my opponent so many times. Jackie Grealish, give him a position modifier. On the left wing, a little bit too slow. On the camp position, he's a god. Also, Al Oorain, hope to pronounce it correctly. He has, of course, an icon card with a World Cup. Uh, I'm sorry, a hero card with a World Cup, but that is more expensive. This card can play wing, striker, camp, center forward, and more. But I'm using him on the camp as well. He's a bloody legend. Talking about legends, Georgia Haji. Made name for himself at the World Cup 1994 in the US of A with his team Romania doing so great. And what a lot of people don't know, he played with Real Madrid in 1990. He then went to Brescia two years later because Real didn't need him. And just after the World Cup, Barcelona bought him. He played there for two years. Then he went to Galatasaray for five years and retired in 2001. So everybody thinks Georgia Haji is a legendary player. But if you really look to the stats, he had just two great seasons at Barcelona. With Raymond Britt, it was okay. With Brescia, it was okay. So we know him as an icon, but he wasn't that great. It sounds crazy to say, and I might hurt some people of Romania, but well, look at the stats. How many good games he actually played in his career? I was shocked to find out it wasn't that many, but that's a different story. Lucas Paqueta is the man to grab as well from the EPL. He's not as quick as Kai Havertz, but his passing is even higher. We go to the wing position, left wingers first. And yeah, you can see Neymar Jr. shining on that screen. It's unreal, guys. Neymar is available for less than 100k in this FIFA. This FIFA is so cheap, i never seen that before. Squad building challenges, you can get your way a gun good players that easily. And um, Carrasco is my recommendation if you go to the Spanish La Liga. Harry Kuehl if you're looking for a hero card. Then we have also Pulisic if you're looking for a Premier League side. Nedved, his 89 rated card is 100k. Do you believe it? Well, believe it. It is such a great card. It will feel like cheating the game. And well, Neymar, it's unbelievable. A legendary player like Neymar Jr. available for 90k as we speak. Building yourself a team in the league, uh, it's such a great idea. For a small budget, you can build yourself a best possible squad 
ever. From the left wing to the right wing. And my recommendation in the Serie A is Hoofing Cecchi Lozano. He can play right wing as well. Left wing, right wing. You can play either position. So he's the best option in the Serie A without any doubts. In the league, uh, also Lionel Messi is available for around 70k as we speak. So you can get yourself Neymar Jr. left wing, Messi right wing for a maximum of 160k combined. If you're looking for Kylian Mbappé, yeah, I know. He's a little bit more expensive. Not payable for less than 100k. Uh, a card that is underrated, I guess, is LAFC card Garrett Bale. I know he's hard to link. That's the option. But maybe as a super substitution, he will be fine because this card in the Premier League would easily be trading for around 500k because he's now in a league like that. He's so much cheaper. Saka is the best option in the EPL and Usman Dembele is my recommendation in the Spanish La Liga. Before we go to the strikers, I made a page with Santa forwards. Yeah, boys. The cheapest one is Polo Dybala. He's trading for 5 to 6k, I believe, at the moment or 10k maximum. Berardi, nice player to link him up if you're looking for a two center forward system as well. Then we have Nelson Buffal, the World Cup superstar of Morocco, is an 88 rated powerhouse. I would recommend him in a team with Neymar Jr. and Lionel Messi, for example. You have your skills to glory. Then we have two icons, center forwards, the best one out there for 100k. That is Raul Gonzalez Blanco and Roberto Bazio. We all know them of World Cups. Later on, Baggio 1994-1998, but well, after that, Raul made name for himself as well for the Spanish national team. So, wow, what a player. Please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. It's the first day of Christmas where I'm recording this video, guys, especially for you. We have a lot of amazing strikers, but the best one out there in the Premier League for me is Cristiano Ronaldo. His speed might feel slow, but I'm using Erling Boyd Haaland, one to watch, with this Ronaldo card. And I must say, I don't feel a lot of speed difference because I'm pimping Ronaldo with a Hunter card, so his speed will go up over 90, and I must say, his finishing abilities are just something spectacular. Timo Werner is the best striker you can get in the Bundesliga for that budget, where, of course, the Mexican legendary player. That is Hernandez. This man is a phenomenal player. His 87 rated card is extraordinary because it brings 91 speed and 87 shooting. That combo is just very hard to find in a car like that. Sydney Govu is a League Earth player. I would go for on the striker position as well. And the best one out there in the Serie A is Lautaro Martinez after winning the World Cup. By the way, fun fact, he won the World Cup, but he was officially in the team for the worst performing players. Together with Romelu Lukaku. What would you think about it as an Inter Milan coach? If you have Lukaku and Lautaro as your two strikers and you find it out. Well, that's a different story. Boys, girls, if you're watching this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more, put the notification bell, click the icon for more if you love that. I thank you for watching. I enjoy Christmas with you and your family. And if you're watching this video later on, it's not Christmas anymore.